Hello everyone and welcome to Animal Crossing! Woo! Yes, Animal Crossing has now added swimming to their little game. Which makes me really excited because it was one of my favorite features in New Leaf. Whoops, time to go down. And with swimming, there comes a friend that we are going to be hunting for today. Not this friend. However, that does fit my branding. Now, this could be Loki the Octo. <laughs> Anyways, with swimming, you mash A to swim around and you press X to dive under the water. The little friend we are looking for today is Pascal. He usually comes when you get a... I don't know what it's called actually. But there is a particular thing you gotta fish up in order to get him in. Or get him to see you. So yeah. There's probably going to be a bit of jumping around and cutting here because it's probably going to be a loss for me and me looking around for these spots right here. They, I will say though, the bubbles, they do have different ways of showing themselves depending on what the actual thing is that you're catching. This is... Muscle! Nice! So if you can memorize how the bubble patterns are for certain objects, then you can definitely find what you've been looking for. And and get Pascal the otter to come and say hello to you on your little island. Oh, here's another one. Woo! This is Seeing on me. So yes, I'll just be cutting around to the few things that I found. You can swim completely around your island, unlike in New Leaf when you could only swim so far out. So yeah. Awesome. We got another octopus. Also, you can donate these sea creatures to Blathers in the museum, and they will be put on display. I might show you guys a few of the displays they've got going on already in my sea museum. And there's a present. Oh, I'm not getting that present. Now the spot, let's see, the bubbles are more straight on this one, so you'll see some of the bubbles have different patterns. This is Acorn Barnacle. Nice. I think I'm just kind of swimming up here more. Some of the bubbles do have different patterns, some of them go straight up, some of them zigzag. So, if you know what pattern of bubbles uh, the thing you want, has, then you can definitely try and only do that. It's a jelly! I think I actually already donated a jelly to the museum, though. There we go! There we go! We found Pascal! Wow, this is very quickly into the recording. Scallops! Scallops is what Pascal needs. In order to spawn. Hello, Pascal. Hey, man. How about that scallop of yours? Can I have it? Sure, here you go. Whoa, thank you for the generosity, man. Since you were cool about the scallop, I left you a cool recipe in return. The pearls you need for that recipe are rare, but you can sometimes find them on the ocean floor. I keep my eyes open for them too. I might even trade you for a scallop if I find one. Forget give and take. This is called give and give. This is how we all win, ya dig? Now if you don't mind, I'd like to lay some truth on you. The deep kind. Feel this. The hats have been hugging my head for a long time now. In a few more years, it's going to feel kind of awkward. Wrap your noodle around that. Yep, today is a good day. 
If you can't tell, Pascal's one of my favorite, or one of my more favorite characters from New Leaf. I definitely do love the Pascal, and after you meet him, he'll be swimming outside the bounds, so, so you can swim around with him for a little while. He is definitely cool, and it always makes me really sad, because scalps are something you do have to donate to the museum in order to get 100% of the museum. So at one point or another, you're gonna have to say no to him. It's sad, but it happens. You meet a laid back fellow floating in the sea, consider sh sharing some of your scalps with him. You never know what you might learn in return. A little gift never hurts. So let's see actually. Whoops, did not mean to go up. Yeah, you can force yourself to go back up by pressing the X button again, so mermaid so far. So Pascal gives you all the information you need to make the mermaid set. Very worthwhile, very interesting. And the mermaid set's quite good actually. Oh, and then Pascal enjoying his swim. So I'm just gonna hunt a bit more for some more scallops and then and then I'm gonna jump over to the museum, donate some things, and maybe give you guys a quick update on how Ingopolis has been doing. Whoop. Singing anatomy. Taking a break to go see red. Alright, time to go look for more scallops. Ooh, this one's a bit big. Another scallop! Yep, yeah, there we go. That is something else I wanted to show off. You don't always get Pascal while getting scallops. I don't know what defines getting Pascal during the scallops. I just know some people have a lot of issues getting Pascal to spawn after they cause scallop. I guess he did that because in New Leaf you had to just flat out say no to him and he got really sad in order to have at least one scalp to donate to the museum. So that is definitely something to keep in mind. He's not going to show up every single time. You might have a bit of bad luck getting him to spawn the first time. I've known quite a few people who just couldn't get him to spawn. Um, for the first few days this update was out. But keep trying, you'll get him eventually. Alright, time to head to Octopia Museum. So yeah, I have already donated a few things to Blathers from the Sea Creature catalog. However, the very first time you donate something to Blathers from the Sea Creature catalog, it will have a different thing saying I found a sea creature and you need to donate, I think, one sea creature in order to keep donating them as regular donations along with fishes and stuff like that. I think I'm actually going to keep one of my octopuses inside my house. Because why not? It goes with my branding. I already donated the moon jellies? Oh. Oh yeah, I wanted to show something actually about the moon jellies. And then I have to donate this scallop. Uh, I think that's actually everything. Uh, do I have anything I can- No, I don't. So let's go see how this changes the museum. The biggest change here though... Look at the jellies! Look at the jellies! That's so cool! Before, it was kind of just empty, and this was the only thing that was really cool. Uh, you can see I've donated an eel, those little guys sitting out front there. Um, anything else in this particular tank? I don't think so. Oh, you can see the Anami we got today. Oh, you can see the sea grapes! Nice! I didn't realize that. And then in here, you can see the starfish, the barnacle, um, what else? The pineapple, you can see the octo over there with the squid over here. 
Very cool, very cool. I love all these little details they put into this museum. It is so nice. I mean, what a sight, right? However, I think that's going to be it for this particular episode. Very impressed with how fast I was able to get Pascal, to be honest. So I know multiple, I know too many people who've had issues getting Pascal to spawn. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. You can join me live on Twitch. Um, Twitch.tv slash Loki underscore the underscore Octo. Or the link is in the description if you want to if you want to see me live, I play Splatoon live uh, every Wednesday to Sunday, starting at 9.30 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video or next time on stream. Bye.